I recently did a tutorial to show you exactly how to install and use minimal ADB and fastboot tools with its desktop shortcut so you can quickly open up a command prompt in the exact folder of your ADB and fastboot tools. However, one thing that you may notice is using this or any other ADB installation method except for Android Studio, which few people actually use, you're going to be given a version of ADB that is probably not up to date. Now when we go into a command prompt and we type out the command ADB space version, we're going to get a couple of version details. First of our ADB and then of our actual install. So this is the this is what we see when we do ADB version on our minimal ADB and fastboot install. But if you have gone with the platform tools bundle that Google provides you see you're going to get not only a different version of the Android debug bridge, but also of the install. So this is going to tell you the build version of your current install, and this is going to tell you what version your ADB is currently at. And you see this is different, so if I was going to use this version of ADB, it's going to be missing, it's going to be possibly missing features compared to an updated one. For example, a big feature that Google has been working on recently with the latest releases of ADB, and they release these new updates fairly often. You can check on the change log directly on the Google website, which I'll be linking to in the full tutorial. But one of the big new features that Google is working on is wireless ADB for, I believe it's Android 11, that will enable you to execute various ADB commands without connecting your smartphone to the PC with a USB cable. And wireless ADB currently exists on versions of Android before 11. But this is something that Google has been working on and improving a lot. So you can see we have different installs set up here. I want to show you how to update any install of ADB with the latest version. So we're going to use this minimal ADB and fastboot install as the example which you can see are two different versions right here currently. However, when we go to Google's website, and again, I'll be linking to this in the full tutorial on androidexplained.com. You'll find this full tutorial linked in the video description. We're going to be able to download specific platform tools for our PC platform, Windows in this case which when extracted gives us this platform tools folder. And when we go into that flat platform tools folder after we have extracted it with something like 7-zip or WinRAR, we're going to get a lot of files that we can select them all. And then we need to know where our current ADB install is. So when I showed you how I installed minimal ADB and fastboot, I changed the folder just to the root C folder so it would be easier for me to find. If you did not, did not do that, it's probably in program files and then minimal ADB. But we just want to open up a folder directly to our minimal ADB and fastboot. And you can see here, adbexe, fastboot.exe, and these DLL files, they're going to be in what we just extracted as well. 
and we're going to overwrite these. So you can drag and drop, or we can right click and copy, and right click and paste. And then we want to replace the files in the destination. So once we have copy and pasted all of that into our minimal ADB and Fastboot Tools folder, or wherever your current ADB install is, we can then open up a command prompt in the same folder as where we just put those new files. And this time, whenever we do an ADB version, we're going to be getting, so this is what we have now, and this is what we had before. So you can see we have updated the Android Debug Bridge version to 1.0.41 from 1.0.39. And the version itself for the install is going to look different because this was done and the version number was created by the XDA developer who made minimal ADB and Fastboot but this bundle is created and made by Google. And that is all there is to it. We can update our ADB and Fastboot install quickly and easily by simply downloading the platform tools, uh, platform tools bundle like I showed you, copying and pasting them into the folder where we currently have ADB and Fastboot tools installed and then overriding them.